Welcome back to Step by Step. If you're new here, we come here every Saturday and make over a furniture piece step by step. This week is the first in a series of two parts. This dresser is getting a makeover inside and out. And we're starting uh, after a good cleaning with Dixie Belle's White Lightning. We're starting with Dixie Belle's Boss. And the reason we are is because we're going to be painting it with cotton, which is a white, white. Now I have the drawers in and I end up taking the drawers out. And also my brush was a little dry, so we're having trouble getting started. But once we got started, we were just fine. <laughs> but I'm using gray boss because I want to make that transition to that light color a little bit easier that I doubt that this piece would bleed because um, I just I don't know that it's a veneer piece it is a wood piece doesn't really look like it's a, a bleeder um, that, it, that the, the tannins in the wood would come through but I just wanted to basically prime it so I'm using the boss to make it easier and you can see it really helps with the white so we're adding the cotton paint now and if we hadn't, then we'd be seeing a lot of that brown through there. So it's definitely limits us to uh, two coats on there. So I see, uh, you may see two different sets of hands. So Megan is helping me. That's when I say we. Uh, this is the second coat going on one of the drawers. So like I said, I ended up taking all of the drawers out of the piece. And there's the shell. And the fun stuff's coming up soon here. <laughs> so I did go ahead and use Boss on that. So here's the fun stuff is the planning. I'm using Dixie Bells, Bells and Whistles, Spring Flowers with Stems decoupage paper. I'm preparing it by trimming a little bit off the bottom, just the barcode and the name and stuff, and then the little bit of border across the sides. And then where the design is at the top, I'm just tearing. Just gently tearing it, and every now and then you'll get a little fiber there that you need to use the scissors. So. This paper is thin enough to tear, but yet those fibers make it really strong. You could cut this if you wanted to, but I just wanted kind of a line that just was diminished real easily, so that's why I'm tearing it. I've also selected Dixie Belle's Lucky Lavender and Plum Crazy to be companions on this piece. I'm not sharing the entire design plan because we have to save some excitement for next week. But you'll see how we use those colors and integrate it into the design next week. This week we're busy with this decoupage paper, getting this design on, and just getting this piece ready. So I am using Dixie Belle's Clear Coat in Flat as my decoupage medium. I have that piece just kind of stuck in the drawer. I was just kind of holding it there. So I am using the clear coat kind of as a glue. So you see the paper lifted up and that's okay. I know where I want to put it. So I'm lining the straight edge up with the bottom of that drawer. With the flat part of the drawer. And just kind of using my hands to just evenly spread it out. Now the top poses a little bit of a challenge because as you can see the top of this drawer has a, a beveled edge to it. So I'm just going to use my fingers and just work the design along. 
And my plan is, uh, as you'll see, that the paper goes up into the next drawer ever so slightly. So I'm spending a lot of time on this step just so that you can see how this all works. So I'm just continuing to use the decoupage medium and my fingers just to press the pieces down. And then we'll come back and use a razor blade and cut those so that we can open our drawers easily. So after you put the initial piece on and you smooth it out, then you go back over the piece on the top of it using the flat clear coat. And you just want to be kind of delicate with it. But the whole idea with decoupage is that you put enough layers of the clear coat on so that the paper basically becomes one with the piece. Now, um, decoupage is a little bit different than it used to be because of these wonderful decoupage papers. Again, this paper is not like tissue paper. It's almost like a fabric and those fibers are what makes it like that. So I choose not to uh, do the cutting on this right away. So I just want to make sure I get everything smoothed down and in place. And then I come back and do some of the cutting. Uh, in retrospect, I would have let it all dry because <laughs> I struggled with it, as you'll see. So now I'm going over to where I'm going to join uh, my pieces. Now this particular decoupage paper has three sheets in it and they all match up. So it doesn't matter which end you put to the, which end, it's a continuous pattern. So I just think this uh, pattern is so sweet. It reminds me very much of a fabric that I have. And... Uh, or had it a long time ago. And it's just so fresh and springy. I just think it's beautiful. So you want to take a minute here and line that up. Because you want it to look continuous. You don't want it to look like seams and wallpaper or something. Again, I'm making sure that the bottom is lined up. And you don't really want wrinkles in it, although a few little wrinkles are not going to hurt given the nature of the paper and um, those fibers in there. It really kind of disguises when you get a little wrinkle in it. So don't stress about it. Again, I'm using my fingers to press in those little creases on the sides of the drawer. Now, originally I was going to go across the whole front, but then I decided uh, because of the way the drawer ends at the bottom that that would look dumb. So I'm um, using this razor blade. And again, probably would have let it dry. It would have been a lot easier. But hindsight, you know. So um, I come back and I get the scissors. And I'm just working with it. You know, this isn't a real quick one and done. You want to spend some time with this so that it looks good. As you see, I didn't put the top down yet. So um, just working an area at a time. Coming back with the brush, making sure I have enough underneath the, the paper and then smoothing it and then adding more to the top. Another thing that I have to caution myself with during this process is to make sure I don't leave that drawer closed. Obviously we're going to seal the drawer shut if we do that. So um, don't definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> so I'm just kind of using the brush to just kind of press that paper in like I was with my fingers. And again, up onto the other drawer. I want to make sure there's enough of the sealer on there. See how that paper just kind of becomes transparent with the sealer? It 
It just looks so pretty. If you lose a little piece, just piece it back in like I am here. Now, I'm not like the most patient person in the world. It's more frustrating for me to video this and think that you might be um, frustrated by it. <laughs> so I'm actually enjoying this process. So here it is completed. I have the drawer pulled out to let it dry. Please come back next week. You're going to love everything we do to finish up this piece. If you're interested in Dixie Belle products, check out the link in my description box. Like I said, you won't want to miss next week's grand finale of this piece. I want to thank you so much for joining us this week. And remember, if you like and share, that helps the channel. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Visit us at levintagedecor.company and on Instagram, we're levintagedecor. And on Facebook, we're La Vintage Decor Altoona. Stay well.